Hi everybody, I thought I'd take a minute or two to show you guys something kind of interesting and fun, in case you don't know what this is. This is the oil filter housing and heat exchanger for an R56 Mini. And for those of you who don't know, that's the roughly 2007 on Mini with the Prince engine. Uh, this little guy right here holds your oil filter, goes right in there. And it's got a lovely little cap that screws on there and holds it in place. Just took mine apart because I was getting oil pouring down the front of my motor. So, well, that and some antifreeze at the same time. So I thought, well, better pull it apart and check. So it turns out that this thing has two gaskets on it. There's a large one here and another small one right here. Now, for those of you who may notice looking at this, there are one, two, three, four bolts holding this onto the front of the engine, and that's it. It's a nice, lovely cast chunk of aluminum. There's a lot of weight to this, a lot of good mass. There's a um, bracket on the front here, a bunch of hoses, and guess what? All the load is supported by these four little bolts here. There are no other auxiliary brackets or any other support structure to keep this thing on the front of the motor, keep it from vibrating. So what that means is, these four do all the load, and guess what? It's heavy on the right-hand side, which is not the side where the bolts are. So, all of this mass to the right is completely unsupported by anything, which means that as you're driving along, this thing's vibrating and vibrating and shaking on the front of the motor, which pulls and peels away this inside edge right here. And that's where my gaskets failed. So I've got one of the upper ones right here, split in two, and the other one is actually so hard, it's, it feels like plastic right now. It doesn't even feel like rubber anymore. And how they sit in here, they've got nice little holes here, on the top right here and right here, and those correspond to a little nib on the gasket. This is pretty much one of the only times I've ever seen this. Most motors that I've seen don't have any kind of little keyways or whatnot. Maybe it's some sort of early warning system to let you know when your gaskets fail that oil or uh, antifreeze will start leaking out of those holes. But in my mind, it's one of the stupidest things I've ever seen in my life because it's just giving a weep hole for this stuff to go. So even if this starts to fail somewhere over here, that's nowhere near that weep hole, the fluid will find its way all the way around and start coming out. Um, really, really dumb. I've never seen that anywhere else. Most of these are completely sealed all the way around. If the fluid starts to get into the channel, it usually stays in that channel. It doesn't come out past it. So, very dumb idea. Um, dumb design. Really stupid. There was also one other thing I wanted to show you guys, and that was this. This was another issue that I thought um, it might be, some people have said online, that if you over-tighten these, you can damage the O-ring. I kind of doubt it. The O-ring on this is absolutely massive. And for those of you that do your own oil, please don't over-tighten this. There's no need. Effectively, this thing screws in. It's got, what, about six threads, very coarse threads that hold it in. An O-ring and a good eighth of an inch or about five millimeter gap between the O-ring and the top seat. So all you have to do is screw this in until the seat hits and that's it. You don't have to tighten it. The O-ring will keep it in and keep it from vibrating out. The O-ring also keeps the oil from coming out. It's not like a spin-on oil filter where you have to really haul on it to make sure. Well, even then, you only do about a quarter turn on those. But still, don't over-tighten this. There's no need. You're just going to crack something or break something. But uh, if you guys are driving around and you have an R56 Mini and you notice that there's either oil or radiator fluid or both coming out of the front of your motor, which would be... Here's my car. There, <laughs> pretty much the front side of the motor, um, could be smoking, could be hitting your exhaust manifold. It is probably one of these two gaskets, and it's weeping all over the front of your motor. It's a royal pain in the butt to get it apart, but that's where I would say you look. So anyway, just thought I'd let you guys know and uh, give you a good shot at what this is and what the problem is.